Welcome to the Wake Up Call Network. I am David Frankel, host of the Perky Collar Radio and TV show. And our first guest today will be Brandon Michael. And he is the founder and CEO of Envision Enterprises. And that has several components of it. We'll get into that. And he actually has the only tattoo studio in Pineville, North Carolina called Sacred Rose. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Um, we have some exciting announcements tonight, too. So, if yes, you close the TV, turn the radio out, make sure you hear yeah. everything today. There's some exciting news for you tonight. Right. So, um, tell us what, what got you started. We'll start with uh, Envision Enterprises. What made you get started with that? Well, Envision, <laughs> Envision Enterprises was a, it was a time when it, I had just come out of a really dark, dark time in my life. And um, I, rem I remember hearing a story with these, these, these neighbors and some friends of ours that were, they were complaining about how they were having to pay so much money for all these things and they weren't getting what they wanted. And I always said, you know, I wish there was a way I could fix that or help that. And I couldn't figure it out at that time, but I had this idea in my head to come up with a device that would be centered more around gaming of all things. And, um, and then I, I remember I just came up with it and I said, this is impossible. I don't know how to do any of this stuff. And uh, I put it on paper and, and, I, and I drew it out and I don't even draw. And I, and I said, okay, something's, something's happening. And I talked to a, a, a real close friend of mine at the time and, and they said, you know, the only way you're ever going to do this is if, if, and take, be taken serious is you've got to have money. And I said, well, I, I don't have, you know, I'm not serious and I don't have money. So I'm, I'm, probably, I'm probably screwed. Uh, so, and he said, and then he emailed me back and he said, Brandon, I think you might be onto something here. And it was the original device, which was called the Oracle. And um, we, we developed the Oracle to be a game thing that we were just going to have for ourselves. And we thought about, you know, selling to a few of our friends or family to make a little money. And, you know, we thought this would be great. And matter of fact, one thing I wish I would have brought up for the show, I actually... I actually have the first Oracle with me. It's in my car. I was going to go in my office. And believe it or not, um, people watching, it was made out of wood. And, and, but the people couldn't believe it. They were like, this is, this is really neat. And next thing you know, I worked for a company, and I will always hold them sacred to my heart. And uh, his name was, well, let's say Mr. Edge. And um, I worked for him for, for 16 years, and I was on the road a lot, and I was in sales, and I lived on literally 7 to $8 a day. I had more money. I, I was the, one of the top salesmen they ever had, and, but I saved it all because I started developing this, and I started knocking on, I was the best door knocker in the business, so I started knocking on production studios doors, and I started mingling with people that... I had met as customers and I just really had gotten lucky um, to where I met some people in Warner Brothers and they had, uh, I told them, I said, you know, this could work if, if someone would ever give me the permission, I could put it together. And next thing you know, I got invited to Las Vegas and I was at work and it was a really tough time at work and I ended up, uh, I went and I said, okay, the hardest person to sell in this idea would be my boss and so and it just so happened that he was flying in and coming in to visit the crew and so I knew that was my my moment and uh, I promised him I said hey if you um, if you let me go to Vegas um, and you I need uh, and I didn't have any money I didn't have enough you know I need you to pay for it too you know how to do it. <laughs> I said if you do this I will I will I will do the impossible like I've done before I will sell to Vegas businesses with your product and he kicked me out of the room and, he, and then he later called me an hour later and he says I don't do this for just anybody but this is your chance go I believe in you and I was stunned to hear this if you knew this man you would say that would never come out of his mouth and even some of the people that went eventually watch this they don't even know this part of the story and that's why he'll always be dear and sacred to my heart and because he's seen what I would do, he knew I had money saved up and I stashed it. And I just kept saving, kept saving. I'd buy products to buy testing materials to test this, this device. And then when I went to Vegas, 
I was at this convention and I met everybody that I needed to meet. And wow. they all looked at me and they said, this is the craziest idea ever to be done. And they said, but this could work. And I said, it would. They said, put it together, send us the prototype, show us that it will work. And I said, done. I had it to him the next day. And when I sent it to him and I sent the business plan to plan everything that I could think of that I didn't, I didn't know how to put together a business plan at that time, but I started to learn. And I started, I went very grassroots. I learned everything myself because I didn't have the money for an attorney. I didn't have the money for a person to help me with business. I didn't have, I couldn't go to a bank and get a loan. I couldn't do any of that. And so I, I said, but you know what? We live in a world of Google. You know, we live in a world of YouTube. And I said, so I'm thankful for those services. And, uh, but it was crazy because I was looking on YouTube the day I was learning and I, and I, and I was studying and studying and studying. And I looked up and I watched some, I watched, and I'm sure everybody's seen this, it's this, we call it the spinning wheel of death. It's the buffering circle. Mm -hmm. And I said, I know how to fix that. And I, and I took a guess. It was literally a guess and it worked. And now when you watch like our, our, our service, you don't see me unless it's an internet problem and it's not our problem though. Because I've actually sequenced our service. I'm sorry, I got something in my eye. Um, I've actually been able to sequence our service to work off of four megabytes per second. Spectrum, and I'm saying that out loud, I don't care who sees that, can't do that. Neither can DirecTV, Dish Network, or anybody else. So what we've done is we've created a way to work with not only uh, content providers at this point, so it grew into cable, because I, I got the right connections, and, and next thing you know, people are seeing this device, they're saying, this is incredible, this is good, and sales started to take off. And we couldn't manufacture a bunch of wooden ones, because one, it costs a lot of money, and two, so what I did is I contacted a bunch of, a lot of suppliers for products. And we've worked with NVIDIA Shield, we've worked with, I mean, there's Minix, there's so many, major companies that we've actually been able to put our, 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 our product on, our software on. But I wasn't happy. I said, no, no, we have to find something proprietary, something that's ours. And that's when I knew at that moment, I'm never gonna be able to stop innovating this to make it better. And when I was, I'm, I'm originally out of Texas, and um, I moved from Texas because uh, I knew this had to be the moment because I was having heart issues and they, they called me a weapon. The state of Texas State, they took away my license because they, cause I took out a, one of my customers, Harley Davidson's. And I'm so sorry if you ever see this. I, I really, I'm so sorry. Uh, but, um, and my legs were starting to lose where I couldn't walk. And um, so I had to come home. It was the first time I ever decided to come home and I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to go back on the road. And it, it crushed me, but I knew when I was sitting there in, in my mother's home, I knew I couldn't give up. I knew this this is the time that I had to find a way to support myself. And so I said, okay, this is it. So I had this, I took all the schematics and everything that we had and I submitted it to manufacturers and and it was, and I told them my part of my story and if we had more time, I would have gave them more of it, but they, I got a, I got a yes. And they said, you know what? You fought for this, you know, you didn't do, you, everything was grassroots, everything. There was, like I said, no loans, no from any banks or anything like that. No one would help me. And, and it's crazy that we live in that kind of world that there's not a lot of help. And, but at the same time, I actually appreciate it because it makes it so much worthwhile having what we have mm -hmm. because we fought for it so hard to be in this business. And um, now that we're here, we created the, the, the devices, well, the best thing that ever happened is we've got into the cable uh, business. And Envision Enterprises this year launched Envision TV. Envision TV offers little, where we will be over a thousand channels um, this year, um, as well as literally 18,000 plus on demand selections at the palm of your hand. Um, and, uh, and additionally, and from so I know we're probably getting a bunch of calls if a bunch of people see this, for all our cu existing customers and new customers, um, we're coming out with a new device. It's a hybrid device. 
of our current device, which is the Envision TV unit. And uh, it'll offer a tuner to where you are going to be able to have all of your local access channels for any city that you live in. And if you live internationally, we've, uh, we've got a tuner for that as well. Um, it's, um, everything's compact, everything's sleek, it's nice, it's perfect. And then additionally, because of um, some other good things that's happened is that um, we've hired a vice president of sales, which is Todd Daniels, fantastic, wonderful man. And um, he has been able to get us into Walmart. And Walmart accepted us and we'll be going into store soon. Uh, but we're currently on walmart.com. If you type in the Oracle Arcade, that is our video game console. That was the original Oracle where it started at. That's what it was supposed to be. And that now we have the Envision TV units. Now and that's just kind of what's taken over. And we're, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely excited about that because, well, it keeps the lights on. But um, the Oracle Arcade, believe it or not, it's a lot of people compare it to the Nintendo Switch. Um, mm -hmm which is a fantastic console, Nintendo Switch, they did a great job there. Um, but I gotta say, and yeah, maybe because I'm behind it, but it's better. Um, we give you 20,000 video games from get-go. You get that on the, off the rip. And in three months, we're gonna be offering um, support to where you're gonna be able to have third-party titles. Uh, what that means is the, a lot of the newer games from Xbox One, PlayStation, etc., will be available to see and play on the Oracle Arcade. Um, the Oracle Arcade, I went ahead and pulled all the, spots, uh, all the spots out for it. When you look at it, if, this is, if a movie or a game is in 3D, it's in 3D. And you don't wear glasses. <laughs> and on top of that, it also has our application, which I'm about to show here, to everybody here, which is Envision TV. Envision TV will come with it. You plug into your TV and it blows up on big screen and you're just like your cable box. But most of the customers, we had to realize that we have customers that are not gamers and stuff like that. So we continued with our Envision TV line. And then additionally, I got bored, got angry because I couldn't figure something out. And then what ended up happening with those screens is we blew them up even bigger. And as of February 1st, we will have our own line of televisions. Uh, the Envision TV uh, television sets. Um, they'll be in our stores. Speaking of stores, uh, we just put in the paperwork literally about four hours ago uh, to the um, Carolina Place Mall, and uh, we are opening our own retail store for our products. So not only Oracle cool. Arcade, Envision television units, as well as Envision TV units and service will be featured at our store. And so we will be doing that. The next thing that we will be finishing up we're going into mobile phone space. We are actually going to come out with our own phone. And we are very, I'm super excited about that. Um, but that's going to, that's down the line a little bit. It's about six, eight months away. Um, but with our service, Envision TV, we have, uh, it's, it's been a long time coming to get it to where people are happy. The it re service requires that you keep your current internet connection. I do not want to be in the internet world. I do not want my own internet service at this time. It is a chaos business and I'm already in a chaotic one as it is. And, um, and I can't control that one. So um, with all the net neutrality and all that, and um, I don't know if we do political stuff on here, but I'm not a fan. Um, and matter of fact, that's another thing we're rolling out is our own uh, VPN network for that is licensed and regulated to where people, it helps our customers to battle a little bit with the internet throttling. Um, so it's, we're, we're really customer oriented. And because the thing is I hated to see back to where I began was I hated hearing my family or my friends or neighbors and people st struggle to be able to be entertained because entertainment is more important to people's lives than what they think. Because it's good to digest from the daily stresses. It's good to get away. The movies are excellent to watch. And so that's another reason why I wanted the arcade. It was I was trying to find a way to do something where it could be legal. And that's the difference with us and everybody else. There's a lot of companies out here that will say they're a state TV service, but they may or may not be legal. I know I am. We have all the, all the proper certificates, all the licensing, everything that we need, because we actually purchase our content. We do it the right way. And that's the neat thing. But then when I started purchasing content, I realized what I was paying for it, and I started looking at all the other companies and I said, why are you doing this to your customers? 
So that's why our, our service literally is $35 a month. And we give you everything you could ever want. And when I say everything, we're the only company that's legal that will have every movie that you can want to watch. And when I say movies, that includes ones that even in theaters. And we're the only ones that'll do that. Matter of fact, we literally just went through an update while I was sitting here, and we added about 400 more movies right here on our service. And everything you could ever want to watch, I don't care what it is, even including TV shows, etc. And additionally, a lot of people say, well, is it like Cody? No. We have no affiliation, none whatsoever. Is Cody legal? Absolutely. Is it illegally used? Absolutely. And we don't want that. So we don't get involved in that stuff. And what's really crazy is when people say, well, what about live TV? Things of that nature. Well, we're watching live TV, are we not? Wow. <laughs> so we take live TV with us everywhere you go. And additionally, you can put this on smart TVs, etc. Things of that nature, if you talk to a sales rep, they can, they can get you through that. But when I was starting a Vision TV here in Charlotte, I, I'm not going to put her name out there because I don't know if she'd feel comfortable with that, but it's one of my bankers. And uh, I came into this bank and I didn't have a, I just had an idea and I believed in it with all my heart. And I said, this would be my chance. If I can sell one person right now today, in Charlotte, then this is going to happen. Well, not only did I sell the banker about opening my account and a business account and or and personal accounts and all that, and I told her what I was trying to do, and I impressed her so much, she invited me to her house and she bought three of them. And when I hooked it up, and her husband went through it, he goes, "This is so much better than a fire stick." <laughs> and, I, and I said, "Yeah, <laughs> and it's legal." And the next thing you know, it just went crazy from there. We have some of the when I say I have the world's greatest customers, all y'all, you know y'all, I love you. You know I don't ever put myself on camera, but I love y'all with all my heart. You guys have done so much for us, and we are more appreciative than you than what you'll ever know. And um, so we are, we've launched here in Charlotte, and we've started to spread out. People in Los Angeles, people in Texas, Texas, and uh, all over the United States have, have uh called and they said hey we've heard about this or how can we get this or their customers are viable their family would be in new york or new jersey or and next thing you know now we're at, we're starting to grow and it's been grassroots when i say we haven't gone to any tv people nobody nothing until mr todd daniels decided to put me on this show um, but um thanks don yeah yeah thanks don um uh, but um and then that made me click even further after speaking. I believe it was you first on the phone. Mm -hmm. And it made me click even further. And after Todd and me talked in a meeting right before he left to go out of town, it clicked in my head. I said, it's time. And after speaking with our manufacturers this week and confirming our new device and shipment time and things like that, um, I said, okay, we're gonna, this is it. We're, we're just going to go full speed. We, we don't have no issues. Everything's ready. It is finished. And um, so we got the mall store opening, and then on top of all that, I was so stressed out, so I started a business, another one, <laughs> as my family would say, I opened two businesses in Charlotte in less than one year, and uh, now I have a third. But the, um, I wanted to find a way to get away and still kind of keep in the, around the people that I'm used to being around. Well, I got with this man, his name is Easy the Great, and he is probably one of the most fantastic artists you'll ever see in your life. And he was connected to several others, um, uh, a, a tattoo artist named Dre, Miguel, Miguel Hall, who works at our, our tattoo studio. And I, again, I shook the dice in a town that I found out that every tattoo studio that is applied to be in that city has been denied. And we ended up getting, getting favor from the right people of Mecklenburg. And thank you. I know you all probably see something. And um, they allowed us to open the first tattoo studio in Pineville. And we're very upscale. And it's called Sega Rose. And um, if we, don't do, we, don't, we don't listen to tattoo dreams. We listen to tattoo realities. 
And we believe in putting things that are sacred. And we do microblading for women and men, if you do that, but mostly women. Um, we have a full licensed esthetician on staff. There's not a tattoo studio anywhere in the United States that has an esthetician on staff. And her name is Amanda. That's Queen City Beauty. Um, she's amazing. Um, I, they are, they're just phenomenal. And it's crazy how it's worked together because people will come into the studio, and of course we have Envision TV playing, it's, and they'll come and they'll, they want Envision TV. So it's just all kind of worked together, and it was supposed to be kind of the business that I could kind of step away and not be as stressed, but I found out this year <laughs> that that business is, it's, it's a little stressful, um, but uh, I got a good team behind me that is uh, starting to navigate that, and I have an office manager named Anna, um, who's also my mother. And um, if it wasn't for her and my advisor and now one of my backers, um, Lynn, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here. And, and I know that. And, uh, and it's crazy what they've done to make this happen for us. And um, it's just grown. It, now we're about to move. Vision TV is moving into a brand new 14,000 square foot facility because we cannot stay where we are because of the amount of product um, that we'll be moving through this year um, with Todd negotiating with a lot of retailers and and also helping us open retail stores across to, uh, everywhere, any mall that we can put in. It's just phenomenal. And I had to sit back and I'm like, okay. And I'm used to being the blood of the sales and I love to get in there. Matter of fact, I had to go one day with Todd just to show him that I am, I am sales. <laughs> and, uh, and I did, Todd. <laughs> and uh, for the record, for the record, <laughs> so but uh, but when that they've spoken to me and a lot of people, my attorneys and people have sat back and said, Brandon, we need you to create. We need you to be the idea guy, mm -hmm. because this is what's going to keep us from never fizzling out. And that's what kicks in my mind. I don't want to go nowhere because I fought too darn hard to get here, right. and and I'm not going to give up. My customers know that. I'll, bend over backwards for them at any moment. And now that we're doing this, we, we're in it to win it. And our service, we know, is the best. And like I said, the only thing a customer has to provide for themselves is internet. And everybody has internet. And a lot of people say, well, Brandon, why don't you just add an internet and make it a bundle? There's many reasons why we don't. But I'm glad that I don't because it keeps us mutual with other companies mm -hmm. and with our service the way it is it runs you know through mostly through internet not, not all all through internet but mostly and we we're set up in a way that we're we're happy we don't really need to add anything other than the content and uh, and and keeping it good and keeping it working and keeping it just letting it evolve into what it needs to be. And Envision TV is is probably, I've never seen, been more happy about creating something my whole life. Because where I come from, when I was in that dark time, I'm a musician. And you know, I thought that's what my cards were from my whole life. And uh, I was shown that it wasn't. And it's still hard today. I can barely even pick up instruments because I, 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 it hurts. And uh, the, my people that ride with me, they'll notice I ride in silence more than I do with my music on because I was so absorbed into it. I was obsessed with it. And uh, I come from a history of you know, suicidal attempts and I could go on and on in dark things. And I was told that I would never be nothing. I was told that I couldn't do this. I was told, just like when we got, that was another reason why I started the tattoo studio because someone said, you can't do that. No one, he ain't ever going. No one's going to respect you. Well, I did it, didn't I, buddy? So, so, and then, all, and I was doing tattoos in your studio, and I said, and then I took all your artists. So, hey, that's just the way things go. So, but I don't like being told you can't, because I know if you work hard enough and you believe in your, not only believe in yourself, but believe in what you're doing, you can. And if you, I'm not sure how a lot of your audience believes, but I know what I believe in. I know whom I, I know whom I, I put my trust and faith in, and it'll never change because it, it has pulled me out of the darkest of darks, and I've been given this opportunity to make one more chance of life to do the right thing. 
and when I've had so many opportunities to not. And, and it's very easy not. And that's one thing that I've noticed that it's so, it's, that people say it's hard to do anything in life. No, no, no. It's easy to do the wrong thing. It's really hard to do the right thing, especially when you're doing something where you're talking to federal people like FCCs and you know all these governmental agencies and, and all these major companies, these corporations and these film production things. And um, it's, it's, it's crazy that you know a person can do it. And that's what, if anything, I would want to inspire people. And that's why I'm in this business is to show people that they have a way you can do it. You don't have to. If you have an idea, don't be afraid to run with it. Don't be afraid to try it. And it don't matter what it is. So that's kind of why I'm here. Get this guy some water. <laughs> it's okay. I'm kidding. Well, it's amazing. Everything you've done and where you've been and where you're going. Um, and... I think the only question I have for you at this point, since I think you covered everything without a whole lot of imprompt, uh, is how does it work exactly? For those of you that are watching or listening that aren't tech people, Good you know, my grandmother who, you know, just recently figured out how to use Facebook, um, <laughs> just is not a tech person, could she use it? How simple is it? She has internet, because obviously she has email and she has uh, Facebook, but how, how does it work exactly? Give me like the really elementary school level of how do I use your uh, Envision uh, TV. TV or anything. Not, you know, not uh, necessarily TV itself, yeah. but the Envision it, it, device it, it, to watch it, the cable TV. Sure. Which is, yeah. Well, that's a good question. So Thank at you. first, we, it was very complicated. And, but again, that's where I come in and I say, got to make this better. Got to make this easier. Got to make this Keep easier. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Kiss it. That's what we call it in sales. Keep it simple sales. Or it's some people stupid. say, keep it simple, stupid. Right. But anyway, <laughs> so, but, but here's, the, here's the thing. When you get our device, you go home, you plug it in. Into what? Into, into the wall, into okay. your power outlet. Gotcha. Then you plug it into the TV. You need here. electricity. Yeah, Step you need one. electricity. <laughs> yeah. Step two, hook it up to your, uh, take an eight, plug it into HDMI port in your TV. Everyone has one for the most part. Okay, for TVs within the last... Five years, seven years, ten years, ten years, ten years, ten years, ten years, ten years HDMI. Yeah, HDMI is a long, skinny plug. Okay, yeah. Again, I'm trying to dump it down for all of you guys yeah. in case you're not tech savvy. Yeah. For those of you that are tech savvy, I apologize. I'm not trying to insult your intelligence. <laughs> Just trying to help those that aren't. Okay. So, you electricity, that's number one. Right. Number two, an HDMI insert in your TV. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue. Turn it on. Turn it on. See? Step three. Turn on your TV. Or turn, turn on the device. Yeah, turn on, the, turn, on, turn on the device. Okay, so the device has its own power switch. Yeah. Okay. And then once you turn it on, Connect it to the internet and enjoy Envision TV. Okay. Wow. It's really that fast. So that means you don't, do not need any cable operators to come into your house, ever. If you want one, yes, a sales receptor always, everybody knows this, a sales call, I'll make them. Well, I can't anymore, guys, can't. But we will come to you and we will, we will hook it up for you if need be. But it's so simple now. You plug it in and play. It's plug and play is what we say. And when you connect it to the internet, it's going to pop right on, and you're done. We, we hook it up right when you, now when you leave our store or our office or we ship it to you, it is, it is that easy, that simple. And if you have any problems, there's also an instruction booklet that does come with the, every, any devices that we sell. Now for the television, when it comes out, it's literally plug it in, turn it on, connect the internet, click the app. It's that simple. When you use the Oracle Arcade, Turn it on. You don't have to plug it in. Just charge it. Make sure you charge it. If you're not charging, turn it on. Hit the app. It's very simple now. But on the actual device, plug it in. HDMI. Turn it on. Connect the internet. You're watching cable. Yeah, one clarification is that there are several HDMIs on the back of your television. And some of you have you know, uh, surround sound, and you actually may use HDMI from your your sure. stereo instead. Just pay attention to which HDMI you're plugging into. Right. Because if you go to input it on your TV, you have to select which HDMI you're trying to pull from. Absolutely. One, two, three, four, so to speak. So if you plug it into one, don't try and connect it to two, obviously. It's got to be one to one. No. Uh, that's only the missing link. Yeah, that, that and, and any Xbox One users, um, it's integrated already for the Xbox. So you just plug into the back of your Xbox via HDMI, connects right in, it goes right to your TV automatically, turn it on, connect the internet, you're done. Um, so this so, will replace the Fire Stick. It will replace. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, 
What else is out there? Roku, Hulu, Hulu Roku. Speaking of Netflix, with any customer who subscribes to uh, Envision TV, Netflix original content is featured on our device. So therefore, there's really no need for a Netflix subscription. Or time. Hulu. Or Hulu. Um, Hulu is requestable, so I mean, if there's a certain thing you want, we can I actually have the ability to request that actual program, and they'll usually give it to us. Uh, we have every sports. Everybody knows the Eagles and the Patriots are going to the Super Bowl, and um, so you'll be able to watch Super Bowl on Envision TV in 4K quality. Our, all of our devices are 4K. Um, if that, if and that, a lot of people don't understand 4K. Believe it or not, they think, oh, everything's 4K. It's not. But certain uh, shows are 4K. Certain, sh certain shows, 4K certain shows, certain movies. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, and some are not even HDR yet. So, I mean, there's, there's and technology changes, but the thing about uh, what, one thing that we've done with our new device, our hybrid device coming out, we've in a sense future proofed it. Um, there's more RAM, there's more memory, there's more, there's more everything. And we've actually future-proofed it for about three years. So three, three, four years so before a person's gonna have to come to us and say, hey, I would like another device. But that's the thing about our product. If I go out right now into my vehicle and get the original Oracle in a wooden box, I can plug it in today on a TV and it's gonna turn on and work perfectly and not a problem. We've just innovated to add more to the customer. That's why I like our remotes, our remotes are exactly like a cable remote. If you turn your channel, you're turning your channel. There's no difference. It's We are a cable provider. But at the same time, we're also a consumer electronics company to where we're offering you the products that you can enjoy that service on and cheaper. And, you know, we're, I, I, I say cheaper, but I'm sure some of my business affiliates would say affordable. So, and that's what we really strive to be. We don't necessarily, a lot of people say, well, why'd you get into the cable business? Because you want to make a bunch of money? No. That's really not it. It really, genuinely is not it that. I just want to be able to make a little bit of a difference. And at the same time, where people will sleep better at night saying, you know what, that's one bill I don't mind paying. Yeah. Because, I mean, I, I, I bet you, if you go ask a series of 10 people, probably all of them are going to tell you, I don't want to pay that bill every month. Yeah. And it's especially now, because of all the things that are happening in our, in our, system, in our society. So that's pretty much it. Hmm. That's how easy it is to work. And then on mobile phones, you download our app. We actually give you the way to do that, and you literally just click it, and it's there. And it turns on in less than a second. It's that simple. So does the app uh, come with the device, or do we you download the app without the device? You're, we technically at this time, because the apps are made only, for, right now we only deal with Windows or Android. Um, We've considered iOS, we've looked at Apple products, we have, we've actually just got out of a testing phase with Apple products. I'm not happy with it, just to be completely honest with you. Sorry, Apple, I'm just not. But Android and um, Windows, it were, it's just phenomenal. So if you have one of those devices, whenever you sign up for us, when you get your first account, we give you three additional accounts that you're able to use for those devices. If, if you have an Android phone or Android tablet or Windows, etc., we're able to actually install that program for you and it's that easy. Okay. So similar to Netflix, in which if you're paying the monthly fee for Netflix, you can download it yeah. as well. Absolutely. Very, okay. very good. So if you don't have the monthly fee at home, you're not able to, to download yeah. the app. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. But as long as you have the service yeah. at home. Yeah, there's there's, there's, there's regulations well. behind that. So you sure gotta pay. Sense. People people think, oh well, if, uh, you know, they love the like I said, you get a lot of fire stick users that fire stick again, legal product, but people illegally use it by downloading Cody. And mm -hmm. if anybody, all the people who do listen to the show I warn you, I know things that you guys don't, and I promise you, if you have Cody now, and it has third-party add-ons on it that allow you to watch your favorite TV shows and movies, get rid of it. It's coming, and you, you need to listen, because it happened already once, and developers scrambled because they're scared to death of the FCC and the courts and all that. Well, they got another little thing happening real soon, and it's going to... People are going to have to pay some consequences, so I warn you, if you have it, just get rid of it. Find a way, even if it's not Envision TV, find a legal method to get what you want. So therefore, you're not putting your family or you or anybody else in jeopardy. So it is coming. Eight weeks. You heard, you heard it from here with me first. <laughs> so I wouldn't have it if I was you. Now, if you have Cody and you have everything legal, you're good. But if you don't, don't, don't use it. So that's what I would say. <laughs> Excellent.
Well, congratulations on Thank all you. your accomplishments, uh, Envision Enterprises. Again, not just in Envision TV, but the console as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, the the Oracle Arcade is still available. It's a separate product within Envision. It is Walmart.com. Yep, Walmart.com, and it's uh, currently retails right now for I believe two sixty nine. What we what we put on it? Okay, two sixty nine is Oracle Arcade. And what about the the Envision Television? It says thirty five. It's Envision Television. It, oh, the Envision Television. Uh, we have not as put far a as the device. The, oh, the device per month. is thirty five per month. Okay, and um, we and it's one seventy nine down. Uh, that gives you your equipment. You have to. We we don't want to charge you any more rental fees and things like that that a lot of the bigger companies do because we kind of think that's not right because I know what they actually charge to make those devices and it's not fair. Um, believe me, you've paid for that device six times over by the time, you're, by the time you leave. Um, I guarantee it, matter of fact, after one month. Anyway, so uh, it's 179 down, and, uh, but we have a special uh, right now going. If uh, any new customers, because of this show, any new customers who have subscribed to this, we're gonna reduce your rate to not only 35 now, we're gonna reduce it to 29 a month for any customers that all you have to do is mention this radio or TV show okay. and you will get $29 a month and additionally we will knock our uh, the price of the device down $20 so it'd be 159 cool. and then additionally do they have a coupon code or how do they access all you got to do is to say your show we've got it all already set up in the panel for you guys so all you got to do is to say mention your guys's name and, say, and mention that you've seen us on on the show and we'll take off $20 for the device, and also we will reduce your cable bill for twenty nine a month, and that is indefinite. It does not go back up; it will stay twenty nine a month. So is it listed as Perky Call Radio Show TV show? Or that, is it listed actually, as I I, call I, network or I put it, it at Wake Up Call Radio. That's all I knew. So at the okay. time, but if it's Perky Caller, we can change it. If you okay. just give me the information, um, and then additionally, um, our um, the, like I said, our consoles two sixty nine. You can find that at Walmart.com or in, in or starting in February in Envision TV stores. Um, our first location is going to be in Pineville, and you can find us at the mall. And if you can't, uh, don't want to get out and go anywhere, go to www.envisionenterprises.com, and that's spelled the letter N, visionenterprises.com, and um, you can buy any of our services or, or products there online as well. And just to kind of summarize again, the Envision television device mm -hmm. uh, it comes with a thousand channels. All, yes. all your different well, close to, right now we're about at about eight hundred. Okay. Um, but it's it's it will be over a thousand this year. So over let's say eight hundred plus channels. Okay. Um, eighteen over eighteen thousand on demand titles, every sports that you could ever imagine. All the ESPN, all, all of the them. college, everything. NFL, everything is there. Um, NFL Network. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> so I'm a football. Sunday ticket. That's, we have it, um, but it can be weird. So so. Um, so yeah, cool. yeah. So NFL ticket uh, is a, a product of another company. However, we are able to uh, work with those companies, and we usually have them for you. Oh, nice. um, NFL fans, hey! Oh, we football! Just you up. Everything time. football. No more one sixty nine. Here's a, or here's a cool charger now. Yeah, it's yeah. Four dollars oh, now. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And then additionally, on top of that, all your UFC and fighting, all you fighters out there, we're going to give you the UFC and stuff like that as well. You said also uh, movies that are in the theaters now. Yeah, so you're going to get period of time after, after, well. It just depends on the actual production company how they release it. Um, and sometimes I, I've seen several that are released to us at the same before they even got to the theater. Really? Uh, absolutely. It's just depending on the production unit. So what we usually tell people is, you will see a lot of films that are in the theaters on our device, and if if it's not there, it will be there right within a, a few weeks even. Okay. These guys are pretty fast about putting that, put the content up. So like we just got um, we just got Thor, I think. So the new Thor movie. Okay. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got Thor, and we and and, that, and that's another thing. What about Pineapple Two? That's important. Um, my, and my kids. Are you to know, see I'm going to be real honest with you. I created a cable company, and I don't watch much TV, okay. so I don't know. It may be on there, but it, I can't guarantee that one. But I can tell you this: we'll have it. Okay. Um, and Stay it, tuned. No yeah. direct answer on Paddington 2. Like yeah. <laughs> so, oh, wait. <laughs> I actually want to watch it, humble. believe it or not. It's actually, I've seen the, uh, uh, the trailer. And here's something, uh, if I can, i got to say one more thing about, about the movie thing. My company, my members of my company, my staff, the people who work with me, um, they know I'm adamant. I wanted to, that was my other thing I would want to do is be filming. 
we will be doing film. Um, that's all I can say for now. But um, we we go to theaters. We actually still contribute to the theater business because if it wasn't for theaters, we we wouldn't have anything. You know. So and it's so I I encourage you to support your local theater. Um, it's huge to me to do that because I, I understand what creativity goes behind making a film. But our business is not meant to take business from the theaters or anybody. It's meant to add to the business. To the and, and when people see that, and, and I used to hear that statement a lot, oh, streaming and, and uh, co uh, companies are killing the theaters. And when you know I had to fight for tickets for, theater, for, movie, th for movie seats now, Good. you know, I mean, it's, it's, that's the truth. So no, it's not. Stop saying that. It's not true. There, no one's killing the theater business. It's fine. They got lots of popcorn to sell, so that's not true. So, we tried to see the Greatest Showman. Yeah, and it, it was sold out. Sold out. Theater and I think we have that. Yeah, that. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna watch that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna watch that. So, I mean, Hugh, Hugh Jackman's my Wolverine. So, but, so, but yeah. So everything you could ever want. Every sports. Every TV show. Every movie. Um, even radio. We have a we have a radio connection on our device, so you actually pick up a lot of radio. So. Um, that's just depending on if, if the area will pick it up or not. So I can't promise that one, but I can say that's there. Okay. So everything can be purchased through EnvisionEnterprises.com. Absolutely. But or the Oracle Arcade can go through Walmart.com. Walmart.com. And all you got to do is type the Oracle Arcade in the search bar and it will pop up. Excellent. And you've been listening to Brandon Michael, my guest from the Perky Collar Radio and TV show, all part of the Wake Up Call Network. So this has been an exclusive. There's been some great information you've received tonight that you haven't heard before anywhere. So we appreciate you following and watching, and uh, we'll be right back after the break. about my business and some of the things that I'm doing I uh, give you a reason to tune in each week so I'm an inventor uh, everyone's like to say they've met an inventor it's something special I just decided to uh, solve a problem and uh, create a solution instead of complaining about the problem so I create a product called the perky collar it is a collar support system for dress shirts uh, the packaging is right here and what the product does it lifts the collar up so if I'm not wearing a tie I can maintain a high collar professional look so what it looks like is this. Uh, it has a nice magnetic lid for the box, so you can store accessories in here. And this is what the tool looks like. Nothing fancy, but it does a great job of lifting the collar up so it doesn't droop and sag. Let me show you how it works. So this is how you want your shirt to look if you're not wearing a tie. But you can see, as soon as I remove the collar support, how quickly the placket starts to fold, the collar starts to tuck under. It just looks sloppy. And if I went to any downtown of any city across the country, 90% of the men are walking out like this, unless they have ties on. And the tie is almost dead. So because it's dead, I decided to come up with a product that can help people not wear a tie, but not look sloppy at the same time. So here's how it works. Lift the collar up. You want to leave your collar stays in, because collar stays prevent collars from curling. That's a different problem. Take the perky collar, drop it down, and then put the collar down on top of it. And that's it. And now you're back to a nice, high collar professional look. Sometimes you adjust this a little bit to make sure it's even. And there goes the the folded placket, there goes the tucking under my blazer, and it's back to a nice, clean, crisp look. 
Uh, now, where can you find the Perky Collar? I'm sure that's the question you're about to ask. Let me answer that question for you. It's PerkyLLC.com, spelled P-E-R-K-Y-L-L-C.com. So this product's been on the market for about two and a half years. We've now sold 10,020 as of today. Uh, I'm looking forward to our next 10,000 sold. Uh, to complement the Perky Collar, I've also reached out to other inventors all across the country uh, to complement the Perky Collar. And I met a gentleman uh, out of St. Louis, Missouri named Cedric Cobb, and he invented what's called the best pocket square holder. So he sells a Perky Collar on his websites and shows I sell his pocket square holder on my website. And that way people looking for innovation can find innovation on his website uh, along with in, uh, innovation on my website. So his product looks like this. It's called the best pocket square holder. And here's what it does. It solves the problem of the droopy, saggy uh, pocket squares. So pocket squares, when you fold them, they always unfold and always fall down in your jacket pocket. So this device looks like this. You simply squeeze the device, drop the folded pocket square or pocket round in the device. It locks it in place. And then because the height of the pocket square holder, it just drops right into the pocket, keeping it perfectly uh, looking great and not having to mess with it over and over again throughout the day. And that's a pocket square holder. Uh, both items sell for $25 on the website. Uh, again, you're talking $50 total for both items, but they make a world of difference. If you haven't bought holiday gifts yet for the men in your life that just are hard to buy for, these are two great innovative products that I'm sure they would truly enjoy. I'm not finished yet. Uh, we also have what's called button-up collar stays. Now, collar stays are around since the 1950s. I'm tired of talking about collar stays. Well, these collar stays are different. This is a gentleman out of Wichita, Kansas. His name is Mike Fisher. And he invented a collar stay, but it has an edit function of a hook on the end. And that's to help you fasten buttons on your sleeve, as well as help you fasten button, maybe the top button of your shirt. And especially for older people that have dexterity issues, arthritis, carpal tunnel, this can be a real challenge, a real uh, you know, difficulty each and every day. And if your wife's not there to help you, or your child's not there to help you, you want to be able to dress yourself each and every day. So this becomes a great tool. And then for younger guys out there, you just use it as a collar stay. If you're an older gentleman, use the button your, your sleeve buttons, and then use it as a collar stay. So this little pack here has stainless steel collar stays. It has three different sizes, because obviously every collar is different lengths. Uh, and it's metal, so you don't worry about it causing your collars to curl. It's a great complement to the perky collar, because the perky collar does not prevent collars from curling. You need to wear collar stays. So why not wear button-up collar stays that can also help you fashion your buttons at the same time? So that's the button-up collar stays. These are $20 also available on perkyllc.com. Next up is holeless belts. And I'm sure you're all thinking, oh, I've seen the mission belt on Shark Tank. I've seen that. Well, this is different. This is 100% cowhide. That's one of the biggest differences. It's the same type of leather they use on the saddles of horses. So it's much thicker, stronger leather. There's no ratchet system here, unlike the comfort click belt that's all over TV right, mm -hmm. TV right now. Instead, the technology is in the buckle. So all you're going to simply do is you're going to pull the Put the, uh, the belt through and locks in place. Now, it's holiday time. We're all gaining weight, let's be honest, okay? So what we do, instead of having to go up an inch or down an entire inch based on our weight fluctuation, we just simply tilt the buckle a little bit, bring it in a little bit. If I lost a little weight, and it locks back in place. If I just had a big holiday meal, I loosen it a teeth a bit, back in place. Again, I don't have to go up or down an entire inch. These are beautiful. Uh, they come in brown, which is what I have here. They come in cognac, which is what I have displayed here and they also come in black. Uh, they are a limited supply. They are very hard to get a hold of for whatever reason, uh, but I do have about a dozen left uh, to service the community, and uh, I can guarantee you, whoever you give this belt to will never wear a whole belt again because they are, it's a frustration to have to poke your own holes, to stretch mm -hmm. the holes out because you gain a little weight, lose a little weight. Mm -hmm. The belt never fits right. We don't gain weight by one inch increments, so why we have a belt that only goes up or down by an inch? So those are all the innovative products that we have on the website. And in closing, we also uh, have some fashion items on our website uh, because we realize that people that are buying innovative products also like to look good with different pocket squares, different pocket rounds. Well, my wife makes all of our pocket squares and pocket rounds. They're also all available on our website, perkyllc.com. And here's an example of one of her pocket rounds. Those of you who've never seen a pocket round before, it's the same as a pocket square, just circular. But you notice it's two-sided. No one else does that. You notice the stitch work is two different colors. We've got light blue on one side and uh, kind of a rural blue on the other. But again, when folded, it really becomes a work of art. So just to kind of give you a quick example of how beautiful a pocket round is, this is an example. You know, when you use a pocket square holder, it prevents the pocket square from unfolding, or pocket round, again, in this case, from unfolding. So when you put it in the pocket, it stays perfect all day long. So again, pocket squares, pocket rounds, all handmade, all limitation, 
uh, on the website. We've also added some uh, pre-tied and self-tied bow ties. They're all limited edition, all very unique. Uh, we also have uh, some little bow tie lapel buttons. These actually are buttons that go in the lapel of a jacket to act as a color accent, to bring out a color maybe in the pinstripe, a color in your shirt, color in your pocket square, pocket round, just a great little accent. And again, it's not a pin. It's actually a button that goes in the buttonhole. Uh, and then finally, we have uh, some silk scarves that were designed by my 17-year-old daughter, uh, who's an incredibly gifted artist. So we took her, her canvas paintings and turned them into 60 by 20 and 50 by 50 scarves. And then for the men, we created some 16 inch by 16 inch uh, pocket squares that are beautiful to put into your, your jacket pocket of, your, of your, uh, your blazer. Again, you've been watching the Perky Collar radio and TV show here on the Wake Up Call Network. I thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you tune in again next week. And until then, we'll see you next time.